Hi, it's Suzanne from UnsongDesigns.com. Thank you for joining me. To uh, and the cat. Today's project is this gift box. Now, it had been a while since I'd played with these flowers um, and made any. And I just fancied making a flower, um, which I did, and then wondered what I was going to do with it. So I made the gift box, which uses the Merry Music designer series paper. Now, it's thinner than our normal paper, so you do need to uh, mat it onto some card if you want to make a box with it, but it's absolutely perfect for these. I have made these using our usual designer series paper, which is obviously a, a, a lot thicker, um, but this is absolutely perfect for the petals. So I'm going to show you how to make this. We're going to start with the flower. Now I have started because I'm sure you don't want to see me make all of them. And we've got some card, some all the bits of paper and card already cut. So we're going to do another two petals. Now you start with a square. It's got to be a square. Let's get rid of that. It's annoying me. Um, start with a square of paper, and decide which pattern you want on the outside. Thank you. Uh, and then that's what you need to have on the outside when you're folding. So, cat hairs, thank you. We start with, as I say, with a square and fold it in half like that. Now with this thickness of paper, you don't need to burnish, but you can if you want to. Then you fold it again, so it's in a quarter, and then just open that out. Now the black is not very easy to see. You need to fold that up to the middle, but the edge will also line up here. So. You've got two um, guide marks, if you like. This one also into the middle. And again, if I was using the thicker paper, I would certainly burnish these. And then we can just open it out and it should, with a little help, just naturally fall where you need it to. Now that noise in the background, there's a house at the back that's having some pointing done and they're making a lot of racket. So I apologise for that. So you've got that sort of shape. Then you fold down the pointy tops. And again, you're just, if you can see that, you're just um, folding it down so that it's level with the top, um, with this edge. My Tombow ready. Fold the kites in, so the kites are in half. Just make sure it's folded in properly. And then when you fold that over and glue it, that will be your petal. So let's put some Tombow on there and just fold that in. And I've got some, I've just got uh, post-it notes at the side just to put on top of it to hold it down. So do one more. Again, fold it in half. Oh, that's not done very neatly. Hold on a moment. Let's try that again. Fold that neatly in half. And then in half again. Like that. And then we're going to go up like that. I don't think I've cut this one as well. So yes, I would say, you know, if you the neater you cut it, the better your pet, your flower is going to be. Tombow on my grid paper. And again, just allow that to find its natural line. And then you're going to get in the way, little cat. Like that. There you go. What are you looking at? I dread to think what she's looking at. I think she, I think she, oh, she's looking at the camera. I think she can see my hands in the camera. Yep. Here we go. Oh, Ruby. Um, we've got Tombow on there. 
and <laughs> you have <laughs> well you've seen her back end often enough and now you can see what she looks like little minx so pop that back under the uh, whoops I've dropped my petal now Drop, put that under the um, post-it notes while I deal with this and then we just open it out by giving it a bit of a squeeze like that and all I've done it's a little bit fiddly when you've got to hold them all but it's not too difficult you just put a little bit of glue down that edge and then pop this on just sort of hold it whoops hold it while Tombow does its thing like that and then this one and when you come to do this you have to put glue on the two edges so you've got the edge of the petal that you've just added and then I've also got it on my fingers and then you've got the petal that was, already, that was there before the first petal and then you just put that on the other way around would be helpful getting it on the right way around wouldn't it so that's just this dries clear thankfully it's all the mistakes I make and then I'm going to pop that in fact I'm going to put a bit more on here now so pop that on there and then get it to meet and get it to meet and just hold it in place now I did a pile of these when I did a fair just to have on my not for sale just to have as decoration on my stall and um, a lady bought them all from me and I'm going, what I'm going to do is actually get rid of this um, I did them I did I did them with designer series paper. Um, I think it was retired DSP. Um, it was retired at the time. And she really liked them, so she bought them all, which was nice. Right, now we are. Oh dear, we need another piece of paper. I shall cut it later. Oh no, we don't. I shall, I'm just going to say I'll cut it later. Right, we're going to start with the top because we want the flower to dry um, before. And, and be completely dry before we put the lid on the box. So I'm just getting my Simply Scored, because that's the, that's the easiest thing for this. And this piece of card is a five by five inch square. And what I'm going to do, if I can bring this back a bit so you can see it, is just use a piece of card of the same thickness that you're using. Um, and it just pushes it out slightly so this is going to fit over the box um, and I'm scoring this at an inch all the way around so, ooh, that didn't, didn't do very well did it hold on an inch it's a bit, the paper's a bit big really inch Thankfully, we don't need it when we do the bottom. What am I doing? Is it inch. <clears throat> and then the final inch, the final inch, final score mark again at an inch. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Let's put the scoreboard down for now. And I'm going to, um, no I'm not, I'm going to do the circle in the middle first. So, I had hoped that my, um, I've got the two inch circle punch and I had hoped that that would reach, but it, it doesn't. So, I went to plan B um, and we have, in the circle framelits, we have a two inch circle. Um, which is that one I think that's it so 
let's grab the big shot. And we've got a cutting we've got the cutting plate on top of the platform. Um, and then we're going to try and get this in the middle. That looks not bad. That's better, I think. And then cutting plate on top. And just wind it through. Just move that for a second. So that's the lid of the box with the hole in it. And then you need to get uh, you need to put a hole into your DSP. So So um, what I found the easiest thing to do is to stick this on and I'm going to use fuse for this. Could have been a bit bigger, I think, this paper. Unless it is the wrong piece. Right. And then I'm going to bring the um, big shot back. I'm going to pop that back on there. We're going to put the, th the fr thin look back on. And we're going to put it back through. stuck to there. Right. Okay, so let's get the big shot out of the way. I could have made this a little bigger, a bit bigger, I think, but it'll work because it's white. So to make the box, uh, I think we'll fold and burnish first. The problem with black and white is they are quite difficult colours to see. So, and because I've got a slightly different camera setup to normal, um, it's a new camera setup. I'm actually using my iPhone because I found it much quicker to upload the videos. But I think I must have an incredibly slow broadband. Um, I have to. It needs to stand on something that's blocking the light slightly. So. It's, it's a slightly dull day. Right, so I'm going to cut these and I'm going to notch them out. Like that. The last one. Um, and now we've got some pieces to go on the sides of the box. Have I got all four here? Yes. So these measure uh, two. And, no, they don't. Two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths of an inch. Now all the measurements will be on the blog moonsongdesigns.com in imperial and in metric so um, you don't have to write anything down my fuse is fighting back at the moment we have a love-hate relationship and at the moment it hates me so I don't think there's an up, ups, uh, uh, um, a right or wrong way to put this paper because all the symbols and the elements are going in different directions so you don't have to worry about which is top and which is bottom. Um, and the final one, whoops, and then we will put it in the bottom. I also can't see because it's white where I'm putting the, the 
fuse. And then we will make up the box. Make up the box. And then we can add the flour. Um, sounds like the baking, adding the flour. And then just leave it to dry while we do the bottom. Oops. If you're quick, you can reposition it with the fuse. So let's get that. Actually, oops. You might find like there, it's maybe not, is it notched enough? Yes, I think it is, but what I have done is, uh, I'm going to add some Tombow to that because I'm not going to be able to get fuse on it now. Um, oops, um, I didn't have that quite straight, so While I've got the Tombow, look for my flour. And what you need to do is put Tombow on. I try putting it on the flour, um, but it didn't. I couldn't really get it in the right place. So. Just right, I don't know if you can see, right on the inside of the circle. And again, luckily it dries clear. I've got more on my fingers, I think, than I've got anywhere else. Just sort of... On like that, pop your flour on, press it down, not too hard, but press it down so that it has a chance to come in contact with the glue. And pop it to one side. Don't need Tombow now. So hang on, I've got a baby wipe, I think. Let's try and let's try and uh, let's get rid of this as well again. Right. That's a bit better, I think. Heavens for baby wipes. Right, so the base of the box is here of these. This peg actually is an old Stampin' Up item which I have kept because for things like this it's really useful. Oh, my fingers are still sticky. Right. So we're going to score this at two inches. Are we? Yes. We're going to score this at two inches on all four sides. That way. And again we're going to fold and burnish. straight it doesn't really matter because it's not going to be seen um, although that does matter it's all sticking to my fingers not 
stretching out. Making sure that's straight. What you should be doing is cutting this side of the score mark and then like that and then hopefully you've got a nice neat line. Cut that off. Now I'm not putting anything on the base of the box because I don't think there's a need to but we have four pieces here um, which measure to, what do they measure? Uh, two and seven eighths, no they don't, they're two and three, yes two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths of an inch. So making sure we've got the same pattern on the, the top. That's one. Don't forget, if there is a top and bottom of your paper, then this you would have the top facing this way. So obviously this is the base of your box. And a bit of makeup box. Now I haven't got a tag or um, a sentiment or anything on this. I don't think it needs it. Um, there's you know plenty with the flower, um, but you could. But obviously you can if you want to. Um, if you want to add a tag or you know what happened what happened to your box it's up to you and finally that one and I'm just going to make sure that's smoothed down nice and neatly and then we have the lid which should fit because we did the little bit of card. Hold on. It's always this bit that I fail miserably at. There you go. And there are your two boxes. And I think, let me know which one you like best. I quite like the black one, um, the black with the white flower. But it'd be good it would be really good to know which one you prefer okay well thank you for watching um i hope you liked the visit from the cat who's now fast asleep in the corner bless her and i hope to see you soon bye <laughs>